This video presents on Jatropha as an alternative source of energy and relevance of ISSR markers to study its genetic diversity. In the recent past, oil crisis and depleting fossil fuel reserves has rekindled interest in the promotion of tree-born oil species. Though global biofuel production has tripled from 2000 to 2007, still it accounts for less than 3% of the global transportation fuel supply. Jatropha tree is considered as a potential biofuel crop all over tropics. Jatropha carcass belongs to the family Euphorbiaceae. Jatropha carcass has been cited as one of the best candidate for future biodiesel production because of several reasons like its resistance to drought and pests and does not demand any special nutritive regime. Jatropha oil is extracted from the seeds of the Jatropha tree. The oil is renewable resource and the safe source of energy as well as a viable alternative to diesel, kerosene, LPG, furnace oil, coal and fuel wood. Jatropha seeds contain 46 to 58% of kernel weight and 30 to 40% of seed weight varying with the different genotypes. Jatropha oil is extracted by the method of transesterification. Fatty acid profile for Jatropha varies with the genotype. The genus represents potential source of germplasm for breathing as they possess many rare and beneficial characteristics. This is an allogamous species which results in a high degree of variation. The variation offers ample scope for breeders to undertake screening and selection of seed sources for the crop improvement. The selection based on genetic information using morphological and molecular markers is essential. As per molecular markers is concerned, DNA marker based fingerprinting can distinguish species rapidly using small amounts of DNA. They are stable and typically not influenced by environmental conditions. They can be used to help describe patterns of genetic variation among Jatropha species varieties. Rapid markers have been employed earlier in Jatropha but showed less reproducibility than ISSR markers. Inter-sequence simple repeats ISSR markers have been shown to provide a powerful, rapid, simple, reproducible and inexpensive means to assess genetic diversity. ISSR markers take the advantage of the SSR or microsatellites that are abundant in all eukaryotes. These dominant microsatellites based markers are comparable with the RFLPs and RAPIDs in providing high variability and high mapping density. ISSR marker technique involves amplification of DNA segment present at an amplifiable distance in between two microsatellite repeat regions oriented in opposite direction. 
This technique uses microsatellites usually of 16 to 25 base pairs long as primers in a single primer PCR reaction targeting multiple genomic loci reaction. ICSR PCR uses full in fingerprint and characterization of accessions and identification. Molecular characterization of Jatropha using ISSR markers. The accessions of Jatropha are assembled as fill germplasm bank like the one at Forest College and Research Institute TNU Metupalium. For DNA isolation, young leaves are collected and DNA isolation is done using suitable methods. Before running PCR, the DNA is quantified for its purity. The PCR primers are screened to detect distinct polymorphic amplified products across the excessions using the recommended reaction mixture. PCR is run and gel images are documented. The bands obtained after the PCR gel is run and documented from the ICSR markers express reproducible amplification pattern.